Hi everyone, most of us believe that we are all descended from monkeys and therefore are carriers of primate genes. It is never known which genes will manifest in a child. One woman had a son who looked a lot like our ancestors, both in appearance and behavior. <laughs> we will tell you about him and how he lives right now. But first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss anything get to know each other. This guy's name is Eli Zanzerman, he's 23 years old and he's from Rwanda. We think you'll all agree that he looks pretty unusual. His facial features resemble not even Homo sapiens, but Homo erectus. But he is not only different in appearance from most people. His mother tells us that he never ate anything she cooked for him. Instead, her son would go into the forest and eat bananas and other fruit. But even more surprisingly, he even eats grass. His behavior isn't human-like at all. It's primate behavior. He has never learned to speak, but only conveys his emotions with strange sounds that resemble those made by monkeys. <coughs> it is easy to guess that such a child, as well as his mother is not easy to live in his native village in Rwanda. As Eli was significantly behind his peers in development and had learning disabilities, he was unable to attend school. Not all the villagers sympathized with Eli and his mother. There were more who mocked him and called him a monkey. Over time, he became afraid of people and spent more time in the forest. Of course, this did not help his socialization. It is very painful to realize how cruel people can be. In our opinion, anyone who has bullied a person just because they were born differently from them is much more like an animal than Ellie. Of course, we should sympathize not only with Ellie, but also with his mother. This woman deserves a huge amount of respect. No matter how hard it was for her with her son, she calls him a gift from heaven. The fact is that Ellie was a welcome child because his parents had previously lost five children at birth. They had prayed to the gods and were even willing to have a sick baby, just so long as he survived. Apparently, the request was heard and Ellie was born with microcephaly. In this disease, the skull does not develop, which means that the brain has nowhere to grow. At the same time, the rest of the body meets the standards, the result is an adult with a very narrow forehead. Microcephaly also causes mental deficiency. Of course, raising a child who is so different is extremely difficult. But the woman's life would be much easier if the villagers treated their family with more understanding and respect. Ellie's mum confesses that her son is so intimidated that as soon as he sees people he starts running away and she has no choice but to run after him. If she doesn't, her son may simply get lost and never come home. At 23, he is completely unadapted to life. One week, she and her son run 142 miles, 230 kilometers. The woman even had to make a kind of lasso to catch her son in the woods. In fact, it's absolutely terrifying. Most people can't even imagine what this woman has to go through every day. Nevertheless, she loves her son madly and thanks God every day for giving her Ellie. The whole world learned about Zanzaman's fate thanks to Aframax TV. They made documentary videos about him, in which his mother honestly told Ellie's story. According to the woman, some neighbors wholeheartedly support her and her son and try to make sure he stays away from the forest. 
Sometimes they bring them different treats and soda water. But those who bully Ellie, unfortunately, are much more numerous. Many do not see him as a human being at all, but only as an animal to be bullied. The woman said that not only children mock her son. Very often he had to endure beatings from adults. When she found Ellie beaten in the woods and could do nothing to help him, her heart broke with pain. But thankfully, the film changed a lot of things. More people thought about what this family was going through and empathized. The makers of the film organized a fundraiser and gave them a house and later sent Ellie to a special home for people with microcephaly. It helped the boy realize that he was not alone. But it's not even about the money. The filmmakers hope that now this family has been supported and no one will bully Ellie anymore. You might think that Ellie's case is the only one of its kind, but it is not. They have found a family in Rwanda where all the children look just like Ellie. Their parents look completely normal, but the children are developmentally delayed. Although they can do a little more than Ellie, they are still unable to learn in a regular school. They didn't have to endure the bullying of their fellow villagers like Ellie, but their fate is not enviable. The fact is that the parents were at a loss, they had to earn money, and there was neither energy nor time to deal with their special children. So they just kept them locked up at home for three years. Luckily, journalists found out about the children and wanted to help the family. The children were placed in the Abuma Community Center. Here about 400 children with various disabilities can get help. Specialists Teach them literacy and computer skills. There is no telling what will happen next Ellie has no plans for his life, while his mother has already received something she never dreamed of, a new house, furniture, and a TV set. Every few months, stories about this family continue to appear. Ellie has become calmer towards strangers and willingly contacts them. The fate of the boy remains in doubt. His disease is incurable, and the only person who cares about him is his own mother. Whether they will want to move, whether the TV show will help in the future, whether Ellie will be able to find friends, these are questions that only time will answer. Subscribe to A Boom Story and don't forget to like it. If you want more incredible stories like this one. By doing this you are not only thanking the author, but also reminding the YouTube algorithm that you like videos with similar themes, and that you can train the artificial intelligence to recommend you other authors who compose videos on similar topics.